Since 1885, the NYK Group has continually expanded its business through the use of a variety of vessels. Today, we operate over 800 vessels worldwide. We have one of the world's largest fleets. As an original Mitsubishi Group company, we continue to play a significant role in international shipping. The shipping industry emits 3% of the world's total GHG emissions. In 2023, the International Maritime Organization agreed to a goal to achieve net zero GHG emissions by or around 2050. The same year, we released the NYK Group decarbonization story, detailing how the company will achieve net zero GHG emissions, including scope three emissions by 2050. With such a concrete goal, we were one of the first movers to adopt LNG-fueled vessels. And from around 2030, we will accelerate fuel conversion mainly with ammonia. In August 2024, our very first ammonia-fueled vessel, a tugboat, was delivered. We see ammonia as one of the promising next-generation marine fuels and will expand our ammonia-fueled fleet to materialize decarbonization. NYK will create offtake demand by using ammonia as a marine fuel and establish bunkering infrastructures to supply ammonia to ammonia-fueled vessels. With such a unique position in the industry, we are committed to solving the chicken or the egg problem in fuel transition. With the assistance of the Japanese government, we were able to deliver the world's first commercial ammonia-fueled tugboat. This tug has completed a three-month demonstration voyage and is currently being commercially operated by an NYK Group company. The tug's ammonia-fueled four-stroke engines were developed and manufactured by IHI Power Systems. The company achieved a co-firing rate of 95%, marking an important milestone in using ammonia as a marine fuel. IHI Power Systems' ammonia-fueled engines will also be used as generators for our ammonia-fueled ammonia gas carrier. The AFAGC has been ordered and is currently under construction at NSY's Ariake Shipyard in Japan. The ship is scheduled to be delivered in late 2026. Launching and operating a next-generation bunkering business is no easy task. We will fully utilize our rich experience in the LNG bunkering business in Europe, Central Japan, and Western Japan to develop, launch, and operate an ammonia bunkering business. We were able to successfully develop a use and supply scheme to solve the chicken or the egg problem for LNG fuel. We will do the same for ammonia. Our strategy for ammonia is to proactively establish a value chain by contributing to the key upstream, production, midstream, transportation, and downstream, use, infrastructures. Ammonia produced around the world is transported to import terminals by ammonia carriers. At import terminals, ammonia is stored in onshore tanks and then loaded into an ammonia bunkering vessel. Ammonia bunkering vessels supply ammonia to ammonia-fueled vessels waiting at anchorage or the cargo terminal. This is a visualization of the ammonia bunkering we are currently developing. After the ammonia bunkering vessel comes alongside the ammonia-fueled vessel, the two ships are connected by a bunkering boom. Ammonia is then supplied. This boom is a unique feature of our bunkering vessel. TB Global Technologies developed the boom, which includes an emergency release system that enables a reliable and efficient disconnection between vessels in an emergency. Before the disconnection, any remaining ammonia between the valves will be purged by N2 to minimize ammonia leakage. The ammonia-fueled engines are also unique features of our bunkering vessel. The same engines used for the ammonia-fueled tugboat are planned to be installed on our ammonia bunkering vessel so that it will become an ammonia-fueled ammonia bunkering vessel. Vessels with these features are essential for decarbonizing the maritime industry. The mission of the NYK Group is bringing value to life. With this in mind, we will continue to contribute to a sustainable maritime industry.